Hello friends, this video on P block elements part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The next is the ionization enthalpy. This is my group 15 elements. So if you talk about the ionization enthalpy, let me repeat the definition once again. Ionization enthalpy is nothing but the energy required to remove electron from an atom. For example, chlorine becomes Cl minus. Correct? So if you talk about the ion, uh, this is the amount of energy required to remove a electron. Sorry, it becomes Cl plus because I'm removing an electron, right? Plucking an electron. Yeah. So this value decreases down the group. Why? Because the size increase. See, this is easy to pluck electron easy to pluck electron why size is increased so if you want to increase uh, because this uh, nucleus will not have much control on this electron it may be easy to pluck uh, easy to pluck but you talk about oxygen it is difficult to pluck difficult to pluck electron why because the size is small this oxygen nucleus has more control on the electron this is one of the factor Right, so the factor has normally size. The second is the stability. So, if by plucking out one electron or removing one electron, the atom becomes more stable, then it will have a reason to leave. Right, so stability is one, or the desire of electron to leave is one, and the control of this nucleus is another factor. There are two factors which decide how easy it is to pluck an electron. So in this case, if you go down the group, the size increase, so it becomes all more, the more easy to pluck an electron. For example, if you talk about this family, this is a group 15, if you compare nitrogen and bismuth, bismuth is bigger in size. So it is easy to pluck electron. So it needs only 703 kilojoule per mole of energy to pluck an electron. But for nitrogen, you need more energy. Also nitrogen, you need more energy because I mean, nitrogen is half filled, right? And Okay, that is okay. Let's let's not focus on that. Just focus on the size part. If you are talking about this thing, because in this, if you go down the group, the only factor that plays is size. Okay, but now if you talk from left to right, from left to right, typically what happens is size decrease, right? Size decrease. So in typical scenario, the amount of energy, for example, carbon and oxygen, if you compare, the size is decreasing. Correct. So typical, there should be decrease in the ionization enthalpy. That is less energy should be required, right? Sorry, more energy should be required. So that is correct. If you compare carbon and oxygen, carbon needs only 1086 uh, kilojoule of energy. Oxygen needs all the more if you compare this part. But if you see the nitrogen, it is breaking the trend. If you see carbon needs 1086, nitrogen needs all the more and oxygen is less oxygen lead, need lesser than nitrogen. Why it is so? Because of extra stability of my group 15 elements due to half filled P orbital. So if you see I have told you the electronic configuration is NS2 NP3 for group 15. So P is 3. P can hold at the max 6 electron. It has 3 electrons. It is half filled. It is stable. And thus if you see, if you compare carbon, nitrogen and oxygen, nitrogen needs more energy to pluck one electron or it, more energy is required to pluck one electron from nitrogen. Similarly, if you compare silicon, phosphorus and sulfur, so you need more energy to pluck electron from phosphorus then silicon and sulfur. Same thing apply here also, germanium, arsenic and selenium. So germany, arsenic, you need more energy. Right? So this is the trend we have. Again, these are all experimental values, right? You can't give 100% justification to what, why it is happening. For example, in this case, right, these three are following the trend. So there are so many other factors, for example, D orbital, F orbital, uh, there are so many factors, but typically, we have seen that if we compare carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen or silicon, phosphorus, and sulfur, these 
were the values that came out experimentally and now the conclusion or the uh, reason given was by the scientists were nitrogen phosphorus they have half filled uh, orbital p orbital the, the valence orbital and that gives extra stability so if a compound of a atom is stable it is difficult to pick or pluck elements electrons we have seen right for example helium is very stable so it is or uh, my any any uh, noble gas is very stable it is difficult to pluck electrons from the stable one since nitrogen and phosphorus is, is relatively stable as you compare this with carbon or oxygen or sulfur or silicon because of the half filled electrons half filled orbitals it is difficult to pluck electrons from nitrogen and phosphorus and thus their ionization enthalpy is more right so compared to group 14 and group 16 elements group 15 has higher ionization enthalpy this is a break in the trend right and uh, if you go down the group the typical atomic size trend is followed okay the next is the electronegativity so the electronegativity decreases down the group and then it attains the stable values example nitrogen has the electronegativity of 3 phosphorus 2.1 arsenic 2 antimony 1.9 bismuth again 1.9 see 3 to 2.1 there is a huge jump but then again 2.1 to 2 only 0.1 difference 2 to 0.19 uh, 1.0 only 0.1 difference and there is no difference so again uh, the electronegativity decreases down the group but again the rate of change of electronegativity it is less right so it that also decreases down the group why because the size increase and size also we have seen that there is a huge jump from here to here almost 80% then we have seen almost uh, 10% increase correct since the size is following this pattern the electronegativity is following the other pattern because the size is more it is difficult to attract external electron the size is less it's easy to attract external electron correct because this guy will have more charge more positive more positive charge and the size is less it will attract so combination of these two factors decide my electronegativity value we talk about the metallic character it's almost same trend right so non metallic character increase in this fashion so we compared my group 15 elements and of what the group 15 elements now my nitrogen and phosphorus these are non metal and my antimony and arsenic these are my metalloids and bismuth is a metal Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.